What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. Now, I'm going to be covering this FouseyTube story, but first, I need to cover two stories that I want to share with you. The first one is coming from Valve. Today, they announced that they are sending out letters to the CSGO gambling sites telling them to cease operations. What does this mean? Well, CSGO gambling is finished now. It is done. It is over. Now, Pokemon Go. Everybody's playing fucking Pokemon Go. I've been playing Pokemon Go. Well, for those of you that uh, don't feel like running around outside, Twitch has now a Pokemon Go stream where people type different codes in the chat that controls the Pokemon Go. All right, enough of that stuff. Let's get in to the FouseyTube story. A couple days ago, FouseyTube and Rice Gum had a fake fight on Twitter, and they tried to trick everyone into thinking it was real. Now, we report it on this program that it was fake. Philip DeFranco said it was fake. Scare said it was fake. And yesterday, surprise, surprise, FouseyTube uploaded a video saying that he tricked us all, which was complete bullshit. Now, FouseyTube uploaded a video today titled, Exposing My Fake Pranks, Hashtag Make YouTube Positive Again. However, this video really has nothing to do with FouseyTube exposing his fake pranks, and it's more basically an attack on Philip DeFranco, Scarce, and myself. In this 40-minute video, FouseyTube tries to explain that drama channels are bad for YouTube because we spread out negativity and we make money on drama. Now, this has to be the most hypocritical shit ever. A lot of people are picking up on it. But before we get into the people calling out FouseyTube for being hypocritical, let's talk about what FouseyTube did this morning. Filing copyright strikes. He filed a copyright strike on Scarce. He filed a copyright strike on Chaos Silencer. Now, I checked with my staff here at Drama Alert. So far, he hasn't filed a complaint on us but he did file complaints on many small YouTubers. A video uploaded by Wild Spartan exposed that many small YouTubers got copyright complaints from FouseyTube for uploading the fake rice gum and FouseyTube fight. Now this is complete bullshit. Scarce, Chaos Silencer, and all these small YouTubers use this clip under fair use, but that didn't stop FouseyTube from filing false copyright strikes. Anyhow, after FouseyTube uploaded this video today, a lot of people were very critical. A video came out from No Jumper titled FouseyTube, the biggest douchebag ever, where he explains that FouseyTube's whole career is based on fake social experiments, fake pranks, and just flat out lying. In FouseyTube's video today, he made the point that drama channels were using his name for views, but the prank reviewer exposed that FouseyTube had over 20 videos on his channel with Drake in his titles. A little bit hypocritical, right? Using Drake's name for views. And just about an hour ago, a video got uploaded by Leafy is here, completely destroying FouseyTube. Even other prank channels and some of the original pranksters here on YouTube are calling out FouseyTube. Today, Sam Pepper, one of the original prankers on YouTube, said this. The FouseyTube logic creates tweets, videos with the sole purpose of starting drama. Two, gets mad when it becomes drama. Three, creates more drama by making a video about how he doesn't like people talking about drama. Four, calls out other YouTubers because he doesn't think people should be called out on YouTube. Five, talks about how these drama channels make people lose money and subscribers, and then goes on to say how the video he made led to them losing subscribers. Six, talks about people using misfortune to make money and views after having his most viewed videos be involving around other people's misfortune. In quotations, homeless, bullying, kidnapping. Even Jesse from Prank vs. Prank went after FouseyTube. A fan said, do you support FouseyTube? Hashtag make YouTube positive again. Jesse responded by saying, how about we hashtag make YouTube real again? Then Jesse said this directly to FouseyTube. Your whole movement is pretty hypocritical. I'm not doing to get into a pissing match with you on here. Save it 
for the mic. Now a fan responded to Jesse by saying, he's trying to spread positivity. Don't talk shit. At least he's actively trying to make a change. Jesse responded by saying, how he made a 40 minute video bashing people? How is that positive? And another fan responded with, why you got beef with Fousey? He's done nothing to you. Jesse responded by saying, he kind of fucked up the prank genre on YouTube. Something I pride myself on keeping real. And now, because this drama is about me, I would like to share my opinion. Fuck FouseyTube. FouseyTube is the fakest piece of shit in this whole goddamn industry. He has called drama channels out for ruining careers. FouseyTube has ruined a whole fucking genre. I've been on YouTube since 2009. I remember when pranks were real. FouseyTube was the main person that started faking pranks, and this caused all the other prank channels to fake pranks. The whole genre was ruined by FouseyTube, and he didn't just fake pranks. He faked social experiments, and the reason why this is so horrible and this is so wrong to do is because he made society look worse than it actually is is he uploaded a video which he deleted a couple years ago titled change the way you think and at this time Trayvon Martin was just murdered there was a lot of hostility there was racist tension all over this is around 2014 I believe and he uploaded this video and in this social experiment he made white people seem extremely racist towards this black person. However, this whole video was fake. All the people in it were actors and it was exposed that they were actors. He literally created a racist scenario, tried to convince his audience that this was the real world to take advantage of racist tension that was going on between the deaths of Trayvon Martin and Mike Brown at the time. And he even towards the end of this video says in loving memory to Trayvon Martin and Mike Brown. He literally took advantage of the drama that was going on in the real world and created a racist situation for views, for YouTube money. That video had close to 20 million views. And if you don't know how much money that's worth, that is worth a lot. He's created other social experiments where he hires actors to be mean to homeless people, to show society as this horrible, horrible thing. When it's not, it's fake. These are actors. And he had the nerve to call out drama channels for profiting off a of drama when he created fake drama. He made the world outside look worse than it actually is is for YouTube money and he's trying to have a message now to stay positive. How is that positive? He purposely created negative, racist, horrible situations to make money on YouTube. He is the biggest fraud in this industry. I've been in this YouTube game for a very long time and what I've learned is this. The nice guys that we see on YouTube are usually the sneaky manipulative bad guys and the bad guys not always but a good portion of the time turn out to be the good guys because they're outspoken so if i could borrow the title of one of fousey tube's fake social experiments change the way you think <laughs>